Welcome to Spooksville, where six YouTubers came together. Oh, you don't see them? Here's Florida. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Ghost. Hi, guys, it's Panda, and here I am accompanied by Theo LaCat, Hyper Cookie, and Ikatori. Hey, guys. Hi. Yes, here are four of the six people that are going to be participating in this mega build battle. Ilizane and Spongy have been captured by the ghost. <laughs> but don't worry, they will be here for the build battle. For this mega build battle, we all set out spaces and areas for everyone to build with the house theme of Haunted. Everyone has been asking for another mega build battle and with a Halloween themed, so we all came together for a while and decided to make a huge town of this. We are all super proud. Everyone's link will be in the description as they recorded their very own build, so make sure to check that out. Don't forget that everyone's tours will be at the end and I'll be showing you each of the houses along with the tour of the town. I really hope you enjoy and stay spooky. <laughs> Let's get to this. And for those who wondered how the plot looked like before we all started, here is an image. Enjoy. <laughs> I'll see you in the end. As you can see, I already started out with the base plan because I wasn't sure how exactly I wanted to build the house. And throughout the video, you will see that I change it a bit. So we're going to start with the front and exteriors. Over here I'm making an outline for a balcony and I decided to delete this wall because I wanted I don't know what they're called, but it's like a cylinder shape at the edge of the building, so I just added it in. Just a little heads up, I do change the outside color of this build so many times because I could not choose. I'm now going to be adding in the roofing for two of the places in the house. And now I'm going to be moving into the interior, starting off with the stairs to the second floor. I wanted the stairs to have a somewhat curving outline, so that's what I tried to do with trial and error. To make a railing look going up the stairs, I added in this wall and some bushes. And of course in a haunted house you need to have a grand piano. I'll be moving that to its section pretty soon, but now we're going to move on to the kitchen. Over here will be the dining table along with lots of seats for whoever wants to sit there. 
At the moment, I thought it would be really cool if I left this space open, but then it just turned out looking really weird, so I ended up closing it in. If you're up to this point, tell me down below, do you want a trick or a treat? After some screenshots, we went right back to building. And now I'm going to be adding in the counters along with the cabinets, the fridge, and the oven! <laughs> I then also colored everything a dark color because I felt like that would go with the spooky theme. Of course, then I remembered that they had the checkered floor and it would look perfect for the kitchen. So I just added it in and I loved it. I then also got this crazy idea with these cauldrons. What if I made a table out of them? It didn't really work out because I wanted to be centered, but this kitchen was a little weird. So I just decided to put all four cauldrons together and add in a clear table right on top along with the fencing. And it looked actually not that bad. Then I just continued adding in some kitchen decorations and requirements. Then I decided to give these stairs a gray look for like stone and it would blend in nicely with the house. Somehow I wanted to separate this place because I had no idea what to add. Maybe a fireplace, a cooking station, something to do with witches or cauldrons because I really love them. So I just decided to play along with the area and see what I could do. As I struggled to get ideas, I went on to the second floor to start out the outline, the floor mat, and also stairs leading up to the third floor because I felt like I needed it. On the second floor, I knew that I wanted a bathroom, a living room, and also a secret area with a secret door. And that's what I did.
Over here will be where the secret room is, and I'm going to be covering it with lots of bookshelves. Because you want it as secretive as possible! And then this is when I realized that the recording that I did of decorating this bathroom and putting the bookshelves on that door deleted. So, thank you so much, recording, for not saving, and I'm sorry for everyone who wanted to see how I did this. I also really like this green colored theme for the bathroom so I added in a darker green because it looked even more spooky. You know what? I don't even know at this point. I just went with random colors that looked spooky for the house. And now I'm going back to the first floor, adding in the cauldrons in a circle. I wasn't sure what to do with them, but I felt like if we made it all around in a circle, it would look kind of cool filling up with a pumpkin in the middle and a stump. Also thought it would be cool if the cauldrons had different colors so it meant like different potion styles they were cooking up. I know, something really evil. And now in the front of the inside of the house, tongue twister, I'm adding in stairs from the front door. If you're making potions, you need books. So I added in these creepy looking bookshelves. What was that voice? I just questioned myself so many different times. Now I'm adding in this wall to separate the kitchen from this walk-in area of the front door. I'm also adding this door. Someone kept pressing the undo button, but that's okay because we fixed it all. Then I felt over here if I added in some pillars, it would give it some more texture and color. So I added them in, of course, as I always do. And then I added some windows because we also need light in this creepy house now, don't we? I also decided to color these steps a black shade because I wanted it to look really dark inside of the house and this was the best way to do so. And to match the inside, I also made the outside steps black because then it would look perfect.
As you can see, now I'm changing the color of the house once again. I also felt that these torches would be perfect for this place to make it look like a dungeon. I don't know, I just went with it and I also added in some more candles and a poster decal along with lights. And now I decided to take a break from decorating the inside and I went on to decorating the outside with lots of trees and Halloween decorations. You know what, just put it to that. <laughs> I also couldn't forget about those fairy lights. And now I'm going to be adding in some leaves along with some fog machines and if you're wondering whose car is that right there, that's Hyper. She just decided to park it right in front of my house where I wanted to decorate, but it's all good. Love you Hyper! <laughs> I then added this ghost stuck in this tree because then I could delete the platform it's in and I also added in some spooky spiders climbing up the trees! While building, I got this amazing idea. What if I made like a cracked floor? But then I thought at the same time, people would fall down there. So I decided to kind of put it in the house with carpet and all. I 
covered the hole so if anyone goes over it they'll feel trapped and they'll fall down it even though there's carpet there it worked perfectly i got hyper stuck i got spongy i got ikatori i got everyone stuck and it works if you wanted to make a trap And here is inside the secret room. As you can tell, there is bookshelves covering it with a matching door with stone. I'm adding in lots of benches for anyone to sit with one cauldron that I'm going to be coloring in red colored. You could just guess what that is because I'm not even gonna say it. Then I decide to go on to the third floor, which is the bedroom. On this floor, I also decided that I would be doing a bathroom because I felt like who wants to go downstairs to the second floor if they have their bedroom up on the third floor? Since this space wasn't in use, I added in some ghosts looking out from both sides of the windows. Over here, I dedicated a desk area. And now I'm just adding in some extra decorations because I didn't want an empty spooky room because it wouldn't be spooky. You have to have lots of, well not, you don't have to. I mean like in my world, you have to have lots of stuff in your house to be spooky. But I don't know, that's up to you. <laughs> I 
I seriously did not know what color flooring I should use. I went through so many different textures until I found this wood one. I'm like, you know what? It's gonna be all gray because I can't anymore. We're just adding in some pumpkins along with these pillars because I felt like if I added a cabinet right there and also a closet storage area, which is right underneath it, would look awesome. And inside that little room is where the bathroom is going to be. I also decided to add in a few fog machines to make it more scary, I guess? And now I'm going to be adding in the roofing for the top of the house. <laughs> and now for some last minute touches. And that's the end of my speed build!
thank you everyone so much for watching. Bye. 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 <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>